Hello, everyone. I'm Yoshi Mosuda from Osaka University in Japan. So the title is Artificial Receptor for Brainless Balancing Control. There is a fundamental gap in the control structure between animals and modern robots. Animals have many spinal reflexes in each part of their body, and it has more than 100 muscles, receptors, and neurons. In contrast, robots are built using the design method for industrial machines, so the controller relies heavily on computation, such as learning optimization many times a second on a simple body with about 10 or 20 motors. So our goal is to solve these gaps. To bridge the gap, for example, if we implemented all the reflex loops, then the wiring and peripheral circuits would be enormous. So in this study, we take an approach of reproducing the rough behavior of these reflex loops only in the pneumatic system. In other words, when a muscle gets an external reaction force, a mechanical valve in the muscle adjusts their air pressure. Moreover, by changing the combination of these reflex devices, we can design a variety of reflex circuits. We believe this idea is to break through the limitation of implementation and computation when embedding a large number of autonomous decentralized controller in a robot. In our previous research, we developed a mechanical reflex device that can generate excitatory reflex and inhibitory reflex. We have already observed that when we embed this mechanical reflex in a robot, the muscles and the gait gradually synchronize with each other. As I mentioned earlier, interesting, this learning robot has no computer but emerged such learning motion. In other words, the interaction between reflexes and the environment has a potential to repress the working controller of conventional robots. However, there is still a few problems such as it occasionally falls down. So next, we want to develop a next new force receptor device for brainless balancing control. This is a device that can convert the ground reaction force from environment into muscle force. It has a pneumatic actuator, valve, and a slider. And the actuator and valve are connected to the robot's muscle. Note that the valve has a push switch that is closed when get an external force exceeds a threshold F. So when pushed from the actuator, the valve will be closed, and when pushed from the ground, the valve will be opened. And the valve gets constant air pressure. So what happens is that initially the valve is open, so the air pressure flows to the robot's muscle and actuator. At that time, the actuator expands and closes the valve by pressing the valve switch. This mechanism keeps the actuator force at a constant voltage F. Next, let's, let us consider the case where the device gets a reaction force from the actuator and the ground. In this case, there are the external force F1 from the actuator and the external force F2 from the ground. So the green slider get the combined force F1 minus F2. Okay, this mechanism keep the F1 minus F2 at a constant value F. So in short, as external force F2 from the environment increases, F1 increases. And also the pressure on artificial muscle increases. Okay, next, it's an experiment. In this study, we developed the biped robot using the continuous force receptor. The receptor connected to the external extensor muscle of the limb, so the robot extends limbs when the receptor pushes from the ground. 
is a result. When I give a disturbance from the side, the robot can maintain its posture by immediately extending its legs. It's a comparison. So we showed a simple example of how balancing control can be achieved by a reflex device without a computer. Finally, we have created several brainless reflex devices. In the future, we try to design a super distributed robot with a large number of mechanical reflex devices. Thank you for your watching.